Amy from Body Fit by Amy, and this is your second trimester prenatal core workout. So in this workout, we'll be strengthening your entire core, but in a safe and effective way for pregnancy. This workout is designed for second trimester, and I am currently in my second trimester, but it's perfectly safe to be doing in your first or your third trimester as well. As always, please make sure that you have been cleared by a doctor for exercise during pregnancy before you do this or any other workout. All you need for this workout is a mat and a couple pillows to prop yourself up when we go down, but we won't be doing anything flat on your back. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, so let's start. Let's just get moving a little tiny bit, even though we're mostly just working through the core we want to get a little bit of the blood flowing so just roll through the shoulders we're going to start in a standing position and then we'll have a few things on the wall and a few things on the mat and just small little torso rotations let's reach across we're going to do a few little rotational moves but remembering in pregnancy we don't wanna do any rotations just straight through the core. Let's reach it over. We wanna make sure our whole body is rotating. So we'll do a few of those moves. So I want you to get in the habit of turning the knees and the hips. Breathe. And then just to engage that lower core, some gentle knee raises. So core in our second trimester. We really wanna make sure that we're not putting too much pressure. We can find other ways to strengthen. At this point, we don't wanna be doing anything flat on our back. That's why we have those pillows for a couple things. Just tap it out. And we wanna make sure that we're not doing any of our traditional crunches or bicycles or even planks or anything in that plank or push-up position. Now listen, I know some of you might be strong enough to be doing planks, but if you don't know about diastasis recti, which is ab separation, very common in pregnancy, a lot of people don't even know they have it during or after. I even in some of my older prenatal videos would do some incline planks and push-ups. I would highly advise that once you get to that second trimester, you don't do anything in that plank position. Side planks are great, we're gonna do a few of those, but anything that's putting downward pressure and if you're doing anything where you see coning, or you see sort of that muscle pushing out, you wanna stop, that's putting too much pressure on the abs. Please see any of my other diastasis recti videos to get a little more of an explanation and some things you can be doing postpartum, but just wanted to put that out there. Okay, so let us start with just some belly breathing or transverse abdominus breathing. So it might feel boring, it might feel like you're not doing very much, you want more of an explanation please see my other video where I break it down but we're just gonna do a big inhale expand through the lungs exhale pull the baby up in and around so watch my belly inhale exhale I'm pulling in with that deepest layer so see how it's getting smaller I can even use those hands on the exhale to kind of guide the muscle in. So your transverse abdominis, you keep going, it's your deepest layer of core muscles. It's below everything, kind of wrapping around our, or our organs. And it really is the most important when it comes to prenatal fitness and postnatal recovery. One more time, breathe out, pull everything in. So in postnatal, we, we talk about it more as like a little pelvic tilt, but just really important concept. Again, see my video for a little more of a breakdown. Let's keep that same motion and let's do a standing crunch. So we're not really gonna contract that much, but inhale, exhale as you pull in. Imagine that you're crunching, but notice I'm not moving forward. Just a small little tilt, bring everything in. And again, I know these feel boring, and it's like, oh, I came here for a core workout, but I promise you they are so important. Along with Kegels, which I also explained in that same video, which you could also be doing right now as you exhale, pull up and an in, in with that pelvic floor. One more, nice and gently. And relax. Good, I promise they're really important even though it feels like you're doing much. 
Okay, so onto that rotation that we were talking about, rotating the full body. We're gonna do a little squat and a wood chop. So wood chop, we do that sometimes with a dumbbell or a medicine ball. We're just gonna use our body weight today. So a little half squat, arms together, twist it up. We're gonna stay on one side, watch my knees and my toes and my hips. I'm turning all the way through. So I'm not twisting in the torso, my whole body is turning. We're keeping it small. Breathe down low. Twist up. Last two. And breathe. One more. Let's go other side. Twist. So it's a little, a little bit of a half squat, almost like you're turning in to a lunge. Whole body turning, whole body contracting. And breathe. We'll go for four. And up, three, two, one more, and relax, tap it out. We're gonna do one more thing from this standing position. And we're just gonna move laterally. Moving laterally, side to side, is great during pregnancy. It's not gonna put that same pressure on the center of your abs that other ones do. So hands behind your head, just think as a side to side crunch. Just moving side to side. My heart got pumping a little bit on that wood chop. You might be feeling that too. If you want to take it into a little bit of a plie, you get a little bit of leg work too. It's totally up to you. And depending on your flexibility, just go as far as is comfortable. Let's go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, relax, tap it out, shake those out. Okay, so as, as an alternative to planks, we're gonna take it to a wall plank. So you can either use a wall or a countertop. We're gonna be at a tiny, teeny, tiny bit of an angle. So my hands are on the wall and I'm just walking it back just a tad. I don't want you to be here or too much of an angle because again, that'll put that same pressure as a regular plank. But if you're here, and we're just gonna lift up on the toes and bring it down, up on the toes and bring it down. If you're on a countertop, thankfully I have both. Again, not too much of an angle. And breathe, and you can watch. If you see that coning of that belly, you'll know that you're putting too much pressure. So it feels like a little bit of a calf rage, but trust me, we're engaging our core. So let's keep those heels down. This time, bend the knees, pull up and in. Think about that deep belly breathing, and also pulling up in that pelvic floor and those Kegel muscles. Knees down and up. These are ones that you could do throughout your day, depending on if you have a break, maybe you just did the dishes, or you're hanging out with your toddler. Last one, and relax. Relax your back, and we're gonna take it all the way down on the mat. We are almost done. So, making sure that you have a couple pillows or blankets, something to prop you up just a little bit, we're gonna go into a bridge. So you, you know bridges, come down on your knees. What's really important, guys, not only when we're doing our workouts, but also when we're getting in and out of bed or getting up from off the floor, maybe you're playing with your toddler, that we don't come straight up. That's gonna put pressure on the abs too. So here's how you do that. Take it down to the side, using your arms for support. I'm gonna come up on the pillows and then I'm gonna roll onto my back. So with the pillows or the blankets, again, you just wanna be elevated just a bit and we're coming into a bridge. So my feet are in close, big inhale. As I exhale, I'm gonna roll that bridge up, squeezing in the glutes. We're getting a little bonus glutes and slowly down, glutes and hamstrings. But I want you to think about pulling that core in on the exhale. And inhale as you go down. Don't worry about getting those hips super high. If you can, you're gonna get more flexibility, strengthening in the back down and if by chance you don't have pillows it's okay we're not going to be down here too long and because we're moving through our body this doesn't really count as flat on your back but if it doesn't feel good 
don't do it. But think about the core. Since so this is a core workout, let's go three more. Rolling up, pulling in, down, and last one. Roll it up, and down, and relax. So very carefully turn over onto your side. That's really all we're gonna use those pillows for, so you can toss them over. Coming into a side plank. So I am gonna stay on my knees, elbow beneath my shoulder, lift it up in here. We're gonna start in a little hold position. Certainly if you're feeling good and you're used to side planks here, that's okay too. Just again, do what feels best for you. If you're doing this in your first trimester, you might be okay. Let's go ahead and lift it up and hold. Pull everything in tight. Core is in. We're breathing. And then really small, let's go down and up with our hips. Drop the hip all the way down. Bring it up. Breathe. And up. Down. Let's go two more. Last one right here. And slowly come up on that side. Stretch it over. So again, side planks are one of our best friends in prenatal core. You're gonna keep everything strong through here, not putting the pressure on here, but you are engaging that center core as well. Let's take it to the other side. Again, you can be on your knees with me or all the way out. Do what feels best for you. Make sure everything is pulled in and we're gonna lift it up and hold. So holding everything in nice and tight, making sure you're breathing. And then when you're ready, we're gonna take it down, lift up. So I like to keep a hand on my belly. It just makes me feel, I can feel those muscles working. I can tell if it's too much, but it's up to you if you wanna have this hand up or down, two more, down, last one, and breathe, bring it up, stretch it over, Whew. and breathe, and then very last thing, guys, let's turn, guys, ladies probably, let's turn onto all fours, so starting again with that belly breathing, but staying on all fours, not going into a plank position, we're gonna inhale, exhale, pull everything up and in. Inhale, exhale, pull it in. Couple more just like that. One more. And then let's take it bird dog. So opposite arm, opposite leg. This is another pregnancy core best friend of ours with the side plank. Again, I know it feels like core and pregnancy can get a little boring because we don't wanna be doing too much and we can't do a lot of the things that we do in traditional exercise. But the bird dog will not only strengthen your core, but it's gonna strengthen your back, particularly your lower back that can get super sore from your growing belly, but also just lengthening all the way through those muscles. So it's a stretch as well. Let's go one more each way, and then we are stretching and relax. So keep those hips up, reach those arms out in front. This is a really great pregnancy stretch. Not sitting as low as your child's pose, keep the hips up. Big stretch, let your head rest down. And then bring it all the way up. Let's come into a seated position. Whatever is comfortable for you with your legs, reach the arm up, fold it over, let your head drop into it. So again, even though if you're used to a lot of traditional abs and if you're like me, you love doing planks, not many people do, but I do, it's hard to adjust to these lighter exercises that put less pressure on your core, but it's so, so important. Trust me, 
you want to try to do things to avoid diastasis recti or ab separation again all women in pregnancy get a little bit of separation it just depends it can get more severe reach it forward so it's important that we don't do things that would increase our chances of that because not only is it just harder to recover it takes a lot of work i have videos and programs for that if you do have it it's not that big of a deal but it also can lead to other pelvic floor problems to back problems to just you know just not feeling good getting your core back after pregnancy big deep breath in and out roll through those shoulders a couple times please make sure you're getting more stretching on your own and make sure you hydrate and eat well today you did it that was your second trimester prenatal core workout great job everybody